Hi, Yarn and Bees. It's me, Sandy. I am so sorry. I have been MIA. I've been in a slump. <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, I just, when I was having my itching issues and everything, I was feeling pretty down. And, and a wonderful Yarn and Bee contacted me and said, Hey, I have an idea. And she got me to go and buy some Lubriderm uh, extra powerful uh, stuff, a cream, and um, it worked. And I'm like, yay! Uh, I am still having itching issues uh, when I'm touching certain yarns, but it's not nearly near as bad. And then I just take the antihistamine and I'm all good for the most part <laughs> so it just got me really really depressed because I thought oh if I have to give up my crochet I, I can't I can't give up my crochet <laughs> I just mm -mm, can't do it uh but anyways I'm I'm struggling through it and uh I'm putting a smile on my face <laughs> So, but um, I I watched uh, Jeanette at Hootie Hootenin's video today, and a, a lot of things hit me hard. And one of them was things that Jeanette had said to me a long time ago in letters and in emails, and uh, it it really struck me thinking about all the things that she had told me about when she's down and she watches my videos, how much it helps her. And then I just felt an overwhelming feeling of guilt because I thought, you know what, Sandy, put on your big girl pants because there's a lot of people out there that are um, going through the same thing as you or going through similar things, going through pain, going through disease going through you know just depression and and sometimes you know just something as simple as me getting on video and saying hi I'm still here sometimes that really helps someone and it just it blows my mind because I'm just like you right I'm just a regular person and the weirdest thing is the minute that you get on camera and you start projecting yourself out there, um, something special happens. All of a sudden, you have people contacting you, telling you things like how much it means to them that you're on there and on here and talking to you or showing you things that I've made and that it brightens their day, that they look forward to my videos. And it just, sometimes I get so caught up in my own crap that I completely forget how much videos of any kind of videos, anybody's videos can bring joy to someone else. I know when I'm down, I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos and holy cow, Neva, man, you are cracking me up, cracking me up, girl. Like you had me laughing through, <laughs> through your crochet tober videos and it made me feel so much better. So, you know, it's a give and take right? It's, um, you know, other YouTubers bring me joy and I'm hoping to bring you guys some joy. And so it all works out. It all works out. And sometimes I forget that, um, because I am a person like just a regular person. And, you know, sometimes depression and, and stuff like that really gets to me. And I, I have to remember that, you know, some people, I, I don't know if I want to use the words depend on me, 
or um i don't know it's it, you guys look forward to seeing my videos which blows my mind just totally blows my mind I, because i'm just i, I don't anyway <laughs> just okay <laughs> um so i i have to like put on my big girl pants and i have to say you know what you got a job now you've got it you've got an obligation to get on here and um you know try and list someone else's spirits so i'm here <laughs> here i am <laughs> um and and you know what doing videos helps me too because all of a sudden i get out of my funk you know put my hair up like real quick and put on some mascara and just it that starts to get me going and then you know i have no idea what i'm going to talk about when i get on here most of the time <laughs> So I'm just going, nah. and then it just comes out. Things just come out. So, yeah. So I am here. Thank you for everyone who emailed me going, are you okay? Are you okay? Where are you? Uh, because that really gets me going. That gets me back on track. So this colossal cluster. Oh, I can't even show you the whole thing because it's so big. Uh, anyways, I, I was trying to do one thing and I screwed up by the way I joined it. And it became a poncho. <laughs> so here is the middle. Or the what was supposed to be the middle of the poncho. But it was supposed to be a rectangular poncho, not a triangular poncho. This was supposed to be, oops, was supposed to be like this. And I sewed it up wrong. So it's also uh, about a size 4X, 5, 4, 5X. Um, so yeah, I made the, the triangles or squares or whatever too big for me. And, uh, so this is what I came up with. So it's just basically four, um, triangles, right? And whoops. <laughs> It's, it's so big it doesn't fit on my mannequin. Ooh, okay. Uh, and then you're supposed to sew it together in a certain way. I totally botched it. It looks beautiful. It's nice. It's just not what I wanted. And it's, it's too big for me. So, um, yeah. Bummer. Because I was so excited about this. I was so excited about that. This is Nesta, Nesta, no, 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 it's not. It is, oh geez. I will put the link down below for that. Nastasia? No, it's not Nastasia. Oh, anyway. <laughs> can't even think so anyways that that square is hers i will leave that link down below and then the rest of the squares all i did was just a regular granny square so i'm going to probably make another one i may not make that square because that was uh, there's a lot of work in that square there's a lot of work it's like it's yeah it's a pinwheel it's there's a lot of work in it oh my good lord keep your clothes on woman uh yeah so anyways that was a colossal but that's okay we have that issue sometimes don't we that's how we learn okay uh when i upload this video shortly after this video goes up 
I'm going to have a tutorial come up. For leg warmers. This is, oops, where are we? Come on. This is the Skipping Stones leg warmers. Okay. And the reason why they're called Skipping Stones is because of the baubles skipping through. Okay. Uh, so that is going up. I am going to have a written pattern done. I was hoping to get it done today, but then I forgot as I was doing them to take pictures. So, cause usually I put pictures in my patterns that you kind of know what's going on. I completely forgot. I was so into getting the video done at the same time and writing out the pattern that I completely forgot to take the pictures. So now I got to make another pair and take the pictures. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and I'm also, um, I'm going to have, I have to wait because I am going to be sending the pattern to Jeanette at Hootie Hoot, Miss Hootie Hoot Men's Crafts to be my pattern tester. Aha! <laughs> so, um, yeah. So hopefully we can get the pattern out soon. And uh, yeah, that will be in my Etsy shop. If you've never been to my Etsy shop, the link is down below. Okay, uh, I think that's everything. I know it's not everything, but I can't for the life of me remember anything. Oh my goodness, Lisa, Lisa's Crochet is having a fabulous time in the UK. Have you been watching her videos? If you haven't, you should. Um, and she's got a ton of pictures on Facebook and oh, She's like, wow, camels. Who thought that they'd have camels in the UK? Blown, mind blown. Their zoo is crazy, crazy. Uh, like, wow. Um, there's penguins and uh, like, I just, I was like, what? <laughs> like, holy cow. Our zoo here, we don't have a zoo anymore. Um they transferred uh, everything out. Um, I don't even, I think we still have porpoises, but we had whales, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so that was fun to watch. And then holy cow, everybody that has met up with Billy the Crafty Floridian in Florida, Sandy left his right is over there and Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet. There's like 18 of pe 18 people there. I am stoked waiting for video footage to come out. Laura's been putting up a little bit. Um, Sandy did contact me today telling me that she's having a fabulous time. Hmm. No kidding. Uh, I really wish I could have gone, but oh well. What am I going to do? Um, our borders are still closed and, you know, Canada's a mess. And, you know, anyway. Uh, so I'm so glad that they're having a wonderful time. And the trip is almost over already. It's like they just got there. So, <laughs> so anyways, I can't wait to see the videos. I believe there's a hashtag. Um... What is it called? Hashtag Billy's Beaches. I, I, I'll put the hashtag down below um, if I can find it. And uh, yeah, I well actually the hashtag will be on Laura at Mam Mimi's Crochet. The hashtag will be over there. So yeah, go check that out. Oh, she did a hilarious video Octavia was in the pool and then others were in the pool and they were getting eaten by a shark or something it's like oh it was funny <laughs> so 
So anyways, okay, I'm going to go and I will chat with you guys later. Check out my video. I would love to see your leg warmers or if you're making boot cuffs uh, and put them on my Facebook page, please. Not enough people have been putting their stuff on my Facebook page. I really, 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 really want to see. I don't, it doesn't even have to be my patterns. Just whatever you're making, I want to see. So post some pictures on my Facebook page, please. And uh, I will check them out and I will make a comment and I will, I will love everything you make. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support and love. And I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.